We are in Pictou, Nova Scotia, just outside our campground. We are going to the Hector Heritage Quay and we are going to board the Hector. On September 15, 1773, approximately 200 Highland Scots arrived aboard the ship Hector. This began a wave of Scottish immigration to Nova Scotia that would last for decades. The settlers' perseverance as they sought the freedom of possessing and thriving on their own piece of land made them a fundamental part of Canada's history. Against great odds, they built communities and raised families. On hearing tales from the first settlers, thousands of Scottish immigrants soon followed to this land of New Scotland. The Hector Heritage Quay and Ship Hector Replica are a testament to their courage and Nova Scotia's ties to the culture of Scotland. It is fitting that this heritage be celebrated in Pictou, the birthplace of New Scotland. So here we are at the Heritage Museum here, just looking, uh, reading up on the Scots that came over in 1773. From what I've been reading and seeing here, um, they had left Scotland to try to get a better life in what is now Canada, but wasn't called Canada back then, obviously. Um, what I've also read is they've left such um, a good life back there in Scotland but they wanted more freedom, they wanted their own land because they had been paying rent and it was hard for them to get ahead in life back there. So they um, came over here to begin a new life, but the ship voyage took longer than they thought because the seas were, um, they encountered some rough seas. So the voyage that should have been shorter actually took them about three months to get here. And obviously they, they ran out of food, they had a lot of disease on board and I'm sure a lot of them did not survive the trip over. I don't know how many actually did. I've been trying to find that here, but we're still reading through all the um, information. Anyway, it's just amazing what um, people are willing to go through in order to begin a brand new life. I see that they must have been very brave um, or very naive, one or the other. But anyway, it's just fascinating to see what um, they had encountered. And anyway, we're looking forward to actually going on board the replica ship in a few minutes and we'll let you know what that turns out to be like. Yeah, we're under, um, we're in the, the belly of the ship, I guess you could say, in the conditions, the living conditions that these people know. Of course, this is just a replica, but it gives you a bit of an idea of what it could have been like back then. Um, now, we're smelling an awful stench of um, the... Of must of, and 
the wood and the hip. They even have a dehumidifier down here to try to take some of the moisture out. But yep. can you imagine with about 200 people packed down here? It must have been just brutal. And then, of course, there was an outbreak of smallpox and many Every of the children died. And yeah, and everyone's in so close con um, quarters, like living quarters. And yeah, I see the bunks here. They're so piled continue. on top of each other. And All right, so we just uh, finished the tour on the Hector. What are your thoughts, Sophie? Oh yeah, I really enjoyed it. Mom? Yeah, it was really good. I really like going um, below ship and kind of getting an idea of what they went through when they crossed over from Scotland to come here. And uh, the next thing on the agenda is, Sophie? I don't, I don't know. How about tea and oat cakes? Mm, How about tea and oat good. cakes? Yeah, yes, good. they have Scottish oat cakes here on the island. You can get them at Tim Hortons, actually. Yeah. Yeah, they don't and sell them back home. No, so. only in Nova Scotia. That's right. And the other thing is, we're not on an island, are we? It's yeah. Nova Scotia. Did I say island? Did I say island? island? I think I said island. Somebody said island. Did you say like island? island. Uh, There's water all around. Well, anyways, okay. we're going to get some <laughs> Scottish oat cakes. I just got some oat cakes and shortbread from Mrs. McGregor's store here. It says it's been, um, what is it, Sophie? Oh. The home of one of the best shortbreads in Canada, by rated by Canadian Living. There you go. Mm, delicious. We like our shortbreads. So, correction on the name, we've been saying Pick Two, but it's actually Pick Toe. So, we're just looking for a nice little cafe. Look at this, Sophie. I think you need to, uh, well, you've been a bad girl, Sophie. Sophie's punishment is one day in the town square. In the town square with the town stocks for one day, just wait, one day for looking at the tourist guide. The cute tour guide on the ship. Somebody was. No, no! <laughs> Uh, we just stopped for lunch at the Stone Soup Cafe and we're just about to order. It looks like on the menu today is... Stone Soup. Stone Soup. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what every teenager likes to do is do something with her father.